Welcome students, welcome to Priya's Life Science Academy. Today I am back with another lecture of ecology which is very much important for those who are preparing for CSIN and Life Science, ICMR, NEET, GET Life Science as well as for those who are in bachelor's and master's degree. So let's start. You know that our growth is dependent on lot of factors, lot of environmental factors, the abiotic factors like light, temperature, wind, we are regulated by these abiotic factors. So the environment is the main factor according to which we interact, according to which we act and our development depends on it. So likewise, temperature has a role on the size of the animal's body and according to that, Bergman has given us a rule which is known as Bergman's rule. It, the rule gives us the relationship between the temperature and the size of the body. Here you can see that the same bird species when differing to different types of temperature they differ in the body size. Here you can see the bird species is small when in warm temperature and, it's, and it is large when in cold temperature but they are of the same species. So even if they are of the same species they differ in the body size depending on the temperature. So what's the logic behind the rule? The rule is, the logic is that individuals with greater body mass have a smaller surface area to volume ratio which helps to conserve heat. Like you know polar bears, polar bears are so large and their surface area to volume ratio is very small which help them to conserve more heat, which help them to lose heat very very slowly. So what's the thing is that in the that is why you know that when there is a very very cold temperature you can't lose heat very easily from your body. You have to retain heat so that you can live nicely. So that is why when there is a very very cold temperature animals tend to increase in their body size so that that will help them to retain the body heat. Okay so what's the logic here you can see this example that the same species when increase in their body size their surface area to volume ratio decreases okay because by the points you can understand this is the surface area to volume ratio is 3 surface area to volume ratio is 1.5 and surface area to volume ratio is 0 0.75 so with increasing body size the surface area area to volume ratio decreases you can see this by mathematical example as well so large animals can retain more heat that is a energy saving measure so when in cold temperature you have to be large in size so that your surface area to volume ratio is minimal so that you lose minimal heat you can retain heat for your survival okay so, so that is the idea you can do this sum by your own that you can divide the surface area of this and with, with the volume you can see that when the size is large when the radius is large uh, the surface area to volume ratio is small and that helps to retain the body heat so i hope you understood bergman's rule bergman's rule state that when in cold temperature animal tend to increase in body size so that they retain the body heat for its survival here you can see the polar bears this is the mother polar bear and these are the small babies but they are not actually so small you know now the next rule which is known as the allen's rule again this rule is dependent on the effect of temperature on body size like the bergman's rule what it what it defines you know among close related endothermic that is warm blooded vertebrates those living in colder environments tend to have shorter appendages than those living in warmer environments here you can see the rabbit they tend to have a shorter appendages in cold climate and larger appendages in warm climate same rule applies that when in cold temperature you will cure the animals which show very less appendages during winter they lower their exposure to the environment so if here is lower surface area to volume ratio which also helps to retain the body heat 
but when in warmer temperature you can see the surface area is so large that is why they tend to lose heat more easily because in warm climate you need to lose your heat otherwise you can't survive properly okay uh, likewise during uh, during summer we sweat a lot otherwise the heat will not be reduced okay so in order to emit the heat you need to sweat and for that you need to larger surface area so in warm condition the rabbits have larger surface area to volume ratio so that they can lose it very easily and in cold climate their surface area is reduced so that they can uh, retain heat and for their survival okay here you can see that the hairs uh, the same species um, that is the leopards sp uh, according to the climate their appendages are reduced okay these hair is from the warm climate these are from the warm climate but climate but these are from the cold climate they reduces their surface area to volume ratio so that they can retain more heat and they can retain more heat for their survival and these airs they increase their surface area to volume ratio so that they can lose heat when in warm temperature here you can see the Phoenix fox in Sahara Desert, and this is the Arctic region. Arctic fox, Phoenix fox, it has a larger surface area to volume ratio, so that it can lose heat more easily. And this is the Arctic fox. You, you can you can see that the appendages, that the ears, the limbs are so small. The protrusion is so small to reduce the um, um, heat loss from the body. Uh, that is why they reduce the surface area to volume ratio. Here also jackrabbit long ears and long face, uh, but Arctic here. You so short hairs like small face okay the same reason so decreased surface area to volume ratio for individuals with smaller limbs and body appendages like this animals with the smaller body surface can retain more heat that is also energy saving measure so this is again an energy saving measure that when in cold climate you you tend to reduce your appendages so that your heat loss will be minimum for your survival now next is rent's rule it is again dependent on temperature on body size what it says that temperature affects shape and size of wings in birds the races of birds with relatively narrow and more acuminate wings tend to occur in colder regions while those in warmer areas tend to be broader same reason that when in warmer region your surface area to volume ratio is larger when you have broader wings so, so you can lose it very easily but when in cold temperature your appendages are very narrow your wings are very narrow so that your surface area to volume ratio is reduced so that you cannot lose much heat you can retain more heat for your survival the same rule applies for rent's rule as well that is the effect of temperature and body size always remember when in cold temperature your extremities will be lower so that you reduce the exposure to the environment and to to reduce the heat loss but in warmer area in warmer temperature your wings your appendages will be broader so that you increase the surface area to volume ratio to lose heat so that you can survive easily now this is jordan's rule again effect of temperature on body size so jordan rule what it says that fishes living in cold temperature water regions tend to have more number of vestibules than their counterparts living in the high temperature regions what is vestibule vestibule is a uh, cavity or chamber in fish that control the sensory system so fishes living in cold temperature tend to have more number of vestibule than fishes living in high temperature regions so you have to learn these rules very nicely these come in the csi nets part b and part c also they give you to match the things with the rules and with the concept now last but not the least that is the effect of temperature on body coloration you know that is known as glossus rule the body color of animals is influenced by temperature in the hot and humid climates the birds and mammals have darker pigmentation than their counterparts in the dry and cold climate such as for for us as well when we live in very very uh, hot temperature region you know the in the hot temperature region people tend to have darker skin and people living in colder temperature region tend to have lighter skin tone because why depending on the temperature if you have a large amount of uh, melanin in your skin it will help to it will act as a barrier from the sun rays the uv rays okay and people living in the colder climate where there is not the very much exposure of the sun so there is less melanin pigment in the skin because there is no need to make a, a compact barrier to 
to save from the sun rays such as the case in animal world as well that animals living in hot and humid climate like birds and mammals tend to have darker pigmentation they are very very cold colorful than their counterparts living in dry and cold climate i hope you understood these rules students make sure you read every each and every rule very carefully understand them it will help you a lot in your exam okay thank you very much student for listening i wish you all the very best and last but not the least fight for your dreams your dreams will fight for you thank you